Um, Danielle, Danielle Paquette's here from the Washington Post, the great Washington Post, um, by the way. Thank owned, you. Owned by one of the really <laughs> most successful and impressive business leaders in the world, Jeff Bezos, um, who has done a great job with the Post, by the way. There are a lot of skeptics. I, I was one of, them, uh, one of them <laughs> saying, oh, my, what's this going to mean? But he's just let the Post just grow, grow, grow We've in grown. many, many ways and, and is doing, doing great work. Um, but I, I just wanted you to know that, um, so I went over, uh, you saw me with my yogurt this morning, my daily uh, Chobani. So I went out. Um, <laughs> not an advertisement. <laughs> not, at not at all. Not at all. So I just went out because I was running a little low and I picked up a six pack of Chobani uh, yesterday. And it was really so easy because I was at the market and uh, I didn't have to uh, get any money out of my wallet at all. All I just did is I just raised my arm. And, and there was <laughs> no, my, you didn't. And there was my chip. <laughs> And I had my microchip and they walked out. It was so easy. I didn't know the microchips have landed in D.C. I'm so glad I got that microchip. No, I don't have one, but you've been writing about them and we've been talking about them. Mm -hmm. This is, again, a Wisconsin story, right? Oh, yeah. This is yeah. Wisconsin morning, isn't it? I know. Yeah. Right. So what's what's the reaction to these chips? The name of the company... Um, Mm, three Square Market. Yes, Three Square Market. They right. make vending machine software. Okay. Yeah, I now actually. How did they end up week. being the company that that started this? Pretty randomly. So they're trying to expand their European market. One of the, a few of the executives took a trip to Stockholm, Sweden, where they <laughs> just happened to meet uh, an entrepreneur who specializes in microchips. Which, by the way, in Sweden, microchips are more, much more um, popular, accepted. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah. You can put one in your hand and board a train with one. You yeah, know, it, yeah. it's just not as weird there <laughs> as it is here. Uh, and so this company thought, well, why not? It could make a big splash for us. But we also, oh, bless you, excuse you. We also want to get ahead on the technology. They are making this bet. They think that in about 10 years, everyone will have microchips in some capacity. So when you can board the train with it, that means are you paying that way or you're, this is your ID? It's your ticket. As far as I've read in my yeah. research on microchips. But, yeah, you, it's just like instead and of pulling up that screen on your phone, you can okay. just wave your hand. And employees had a choice, right? Mm -hmm. to, yes. To get one or not. Yeah. And, and they how were, many did? Oh, gosh, about 50 of 80. It's a small wow. company. They were enthusiastic. Yeah. You know, I, I was there. They were wearing shirts that say, I got chipped. Uh, the the CEO of the company had one in both hands, and he, he joked that one was from, for Visa and one was for MasterCard. <laughs> oh, well, so wait, they put it in your hand. Yes. How? So when I was there, I saw a tattoo artist slash body piercer inject someone's hand with a big needle. Uh, and you take that syringe, it's like one second. People claim there wasn't that much pain. There's a, there's a nurse on site to make sure no one got hurt. Mm -hmm. um, Is it like in the palm of your hand? It's right between the index finger and the thumb. Right this here. fleshy huh? part. Yeah. yeah. Right. And it goes pretty deep. But mm -hmm. they told me that if I wanted to do it that day, I could just pop it out like a splinter. <laughs> did you do it? You didn't do it. Did I did you? not do it. Why I didn't, didn't do it. you do it? Uh, I, you know, I'm there to observe, not participate. <laughs> you don't want to make yourself the story. I get it. Yeah. Wait, you're saying you can take them out after yeah. the fact? No. You can, you can. You can pop them out like a splinter. No. Oh. There's no yeah, I don't like way. That. No, no, no. Like it's right a, away, maybe, yeah. but not well, afterwards. Oh, no. Anytime. It's the size. No. It's kind of sharp. It's the size of a, a grain of rice. If you one day wake up and think, this is weird. I, I'm know. over this. No, it is it weird. Out. Guys, it is, <laughs> no, it is the no, weirdest no, no, thing no. ever. No, we <laughs> cannot <laughs> act like this is totally okay. <laughs> yeah. This is bizarre and weird behavior. <laughs> and 50 out of 80 people... But how do you, Did it? How They're do you, insane. How do you These people it? are insane. How do you program it? So that is a great question. They're all engineers. Most yeah. of the people I talk to got this. You, you, somehow this <laughs> grain of rice is synced up with an app. You can write code yeah. to make it do things. Uh, one engineer I talked to got a chip <laughs> in his hand. His dream is to start his car with it. So he wanted to build a program. Oh, yeah, yeah, to... great. That's a great dream. <laughs> start a car. Sorry, I'm being yeah. very cynical about the whole thing, but like, ah. Uh... I mean, imagine never worrying about keys again, you know? That was. Yeah, I mean, look, I don't, I don't really have a problem with that. It's not like an issue for me. I'm not, I, like, ah. Uh... I love it. No, you don't. You're not going to get a microchip. I love it. I love it. No, you're not going to get a microchip. What are you talking I about? Might. You're not going to get a microchip I in might. your hand. I might. I depend. Yeah, you know, I, I, how you can program it. Look no. Back. You know what? No. <laughs> I've got the, you know, the, we just got a new car. 
Mm-hmm. Got, it's got a new Subaru. Mm-hmm. I love the fact I can start my car from my house. Wow. I don't have to be in the car. Just push the little button. See, that's quite powerful, right. though, Chet. When I yeah, go no, out, that, that's, a, yeah, the, the that, that's already, really cool. That's a quantum leap from having something implanted inside your body so people know where you are and what you're doing at all times. <laughs> They I claim think that, you I can't track it. Cool they claim you can't track it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that's totally on the I'm up and I'm sure up. a hacker will find a way in the future. Of but course. Today. That's my point. <laughs> I will give you this, Bill. You are completely unpredictable when it comes to whether or not you buy into these <laughs> yeah, new trends. Th- that's true. I would have never <laughs> guessed that you'd be into this. Fan of drones and microchips. <laughs> <laughs> not a fan of any of the new products <laughs> in McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. I have an iPhone, damn it. Yeah. Hates fidget spinners. But get it microchipped up. <laughs> One is a little less in these days. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Do you uh, have any tattoos? No. Okay. See, I don't, I'm not a permanent kind of person. I can't see any, person. but I didn't know whether you might have yeah. some I can't see. I don't, I don't want to do something that I might want to change my mind So I was just going to ask you if it hurts more than a tattoo, but you can't answer that either. I, I'm sure it hurts less. It takes one second. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. But you also have you know, a giant mine, needle plunged mine into Mine really hurt. Your tattoos? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Can't see mine either. Lower back. Um, <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. looking at that right. Jerry Brown campaign sticker right above his ass. Oh, it's, it's burning. Look <laughs> at Bernie. You feel, can feel the burn. Feel the burn. <laughs> wow, it's a recent tattoo.